Hello, this is the second part of the UT120A review. Um, I thought uh, later about making a teardown or disassembly video because I think you would like to know what is inside the device and how I consider it in terms of uh, the build quality and safety. And I think this one um, merits a special video. So you have a single screw, a single Phillips screw that has to be taken out. And as you can see, the cover easily can be taken out. All right, right off the bat, what I notice and what is not so great with uh, such a device. Well, if you look closely, you'll notice that there is not even a single fuse. One of the resistors, of course, probably will have uh, the function of acting as a fuse, but I think that this one is um, an important aspect that misses. And uh, why is this uh, particularly important? In the case of such a device, I'm not expecting um, a major risk because it doesn't have the capability of measuring uh, currents. However, it is a safety feature that you have to be aware of and one that I would have uh, liked to be uh, cared for in a different matter. Um, as a matter of fact, I think that uh, somewhere in the case there would have been enough space to uh, place a fuse. However, this was clearly not um, the manufacturer's concern. The rest of the board is quite uh, well laid out. You can see all um, 90% of the components, I think, are uh, SMDs, which means that it's um, highly accurate and probably has a very good um, performance in time. Because we are talking about components that have been specified for much more demanding circuits. You also have two measuring, <coughs> uh, two um, calibration resistors, probably for various measurements, but we are not going to... Uh, use them. You have the system on a chip or the microcontroller that is held under this uh, epoxy resin blob. Um, the clock, which is of course uh, a quartz clock or a time base. And all sorts of other components that are being used. And of course this is the uh, 3 volts battery, the CR2032. Uh, Although I would have preferred a different mounting system than this one, I think it works quite well. However, I would like to show to you why uh, this um, particular range of multimeters has a major flaws. And to do so, I will present to you pictures that were previously taken of a 120C model. Um, I think you should uh, take out of the discussion the... Um, measure the value over here because there is a drift and I mentioned when um, I made the UT120 C review about this particular issue. However, what matters a lot is that the device has the ability to measure currents and when I see a current measuring range I also see a major risk and that is of uh, the device being used in uh, a wrong way that could trigger a nasty uh, blow up due to a short circuit when you are, for instance, using the uh, multimeter and placing it in a main socket or on a battery and you're trying to measure current and of course the, the device would blow. I'm expecting that um, the, this uh, component to be uh, acting in a way that limits the maximum current still I would have enjoyed more to see um, a fuse being used. However, this is not the only concern I have. In this case, it's also the fact that you can easily knock a component on the board. And I think that uh, those um, aspects pertaining to safety are not that great. And this is why I cannot recommend a 120C purchase, and I think that 128 is more than enough. So, overall, what we can... Um, See, from the teardown, well, the fact that uh, the manufacturer has not placed too much concern over safety, which is not that great, and I was expecting at least uh, a fuse, of course, it's not mentioned anywhere, so this is not 
something that um, the manufacturer has misled us. However, however I think that this is um, an aspect that should have been uh, given more thought or at least uh, be presented in a way in which we can have a better understanding of what we should be doing. Unfortunately, this is not uh, the case. Does this change the initial um, verdict I gave in the, in the first video where I reviewed the product? Mm, slightly, in the sense that it's still a good product, but don't expect uh, the safety to be as good as you can see on uh, other models. So probably um, in this scenario, I think that the price of such a product should uh, get ultimately lower than the one you have on a typical multimeter uh, like this. Because ultimately there are some risks that you are facing when operating such a multimeter compared with uh, um, this uh, multimeter. And particularly I'm thinking about, uh, about a scenario. The only case where you could make another wrong measurement would be to use uh, the ohm uh, resistance measuring range. And in this case I'm expecting that um, there would be a certain risk in some scenarios by not having um, a fusible uh, um, control on uh, that. But, however, this is the current uh, state of events, so I'm not expecting anything else to change. However, a future revision of the multimeter, I hope, will have a much clearer uh, way of addressing uh, security and either use a fusible resistor or mention the situation that um, uh, can be covered in the sense of uh, protection by the internal uh, circuitry. So I think this should clearly be one aspect that uh, the manufacturer should address in a further revision of the product. All right, so I think this one um, clears quite well uh, the situation and I hope you uh, found a better way of uh, understanding what the, the product is actually capable of. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.